He comes out of surgery. He was like, how long was it? I was like, five hours. I lied. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't want him to think. But then he was like, oh, it felt like five minutes. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay. Because he was asleep. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay. I was like, how do you feel now? But what they didn't say was he was going to come out of surgery not being able to walk in diapers. Um, basically, from the waist down, was was gone. So, so they he, didn't forewarn you no. that this was a possibility. No, but he could could he feel his legs? Um, <clears throat> he had minimum feeling in his leg, like it was like minimum because he didn't he didn't know when he had to go to the bathroom at all. Um, he didn't know. He he. He knew he couldn't walk. Um, and I was like, diapers. Can't walk. And then the neurosurgeon was explaining it to me. And he was like, this is a marathon, not a sprint. And you have to um, be patient with this process at this point. And he said, um, I know going into the spine is a very touchy area. Um, but you know, it's likely, but less likely that he will be able to walk or he may not be able to walk, but we don't know how the body recovers because he was young. Mm -hmm. Um, so from those moments on, he got transferred from the hospital to the rehab hospital, St. Mary's hospital. Um, and even that was just like. So he's going, because initially I thought that he was just going to come home. Mm. And I'm like, well, he's supposed to get discharged in a couple of days. So, but then they explained to me that he has to go to the rehab hospital because they have to prepare him for um, life, basically. So he had to do physical therapy, uh, occupational therapy, like everything. So I was like, okay, how long is that going to take? Because naturally you don't want to be, you do not want to be home without your children. During this time, what did you tell him was happening? So, I did not tell him anything. I told him that because of his surgery, he he had to go to the rehab hospital so that he could learn to walk again. And he could like try and like gain full range of motion and things like that. I did not tell him that <clears throat> he had cancer. Jasmine will tell you, I refused to say it so because yeah. I didn't want him to. Be like, oh, well, I have cancer. I'm going to give up. Mm-hmm. I didn't want that. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so I felt like I was protecting him. And then um, I told him, I'm like, well, you, they still have something still there in your back. So you have to go to radiation therapy to try and shrink whatever's left. Now, when he was in St. Mary's, we went to radiation every single day. From Monday through Friday, every single day, except I think we, I don't think we went on Saturdays and Sundays, but Monday through Friday, we went. And Michaela was right there. How is that process of radiation? What do they do? So they created this like cast um, to measure it around his, his back. And they basically direct the radiation to that specific area. Um, and then they give him like nausea medicine that we're supposed to, he's supposed to take like right before we go. Um, and then we would go. Now, again, I didn't drive, but they they were able to like set up transportation to take us every day. Um, my coworkers was amazing. When I tell you guys, Michaela would go to school. I would take Michaela to school in the morning. I would, I'm Ubering it at this point taking her to school, then I'm going to the hospital. My coworkers would pitch in and have select days to bring her to me after school. So once she got to the hospital from school, we would go to do radiation. Um, That's why I said my coworkers are amazing because they were a part of my support system. My family and friends, some, some, so we never wanted Josiah to be alone. Never. Because he's not alone when he's home. Mm -hmm. So, 
they would take turns on who's going to stay the night in the hospital with him for the whole time that he was there at St. Mary's. How long was he in St. Mary's? He was, so he was in St. Mary's for seven weeks. And he was in St. Mary's for seven weeks because the radiation was six weeks. And Josiah was determined to come home. He said, Mom, I just want to come home. So at that point, when am I going home? When can I, why can't I go home? 